Hello again there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Brooking with Eye Vision. Another good episode this week hopefully here. We've got this nice load of electronic parts weighing in around 27,000 pounds. Right up to Los Angeles. We're in Santa Cruz. Uh, so this should be about, uh, I forget how many miles this actually is. 332 miles. You can see we're in Santa Cruz there coming along here uh, we're actually going to be using the main interstate there uh, last time we took the coastal road up so we're going to take the faster route this time or a faster route yes but let's get going it's a little bit of a night run here actually it's pretty much an all of a night run but not much we can do about it wait start wait start but we're going to Los Angeles because the uh this is probably gonna be our last time with this truck here so we're gonna be getting a new truck and it's a it's at the Kenworth dealer there so we got to go and get that or we got to get down there to a dealer at uh, obviously Kenworth dealer so that's why we're going to Los Angeles is for that so next episode that means we'll have a new truck so exciting times definitely definitely there I was, uh, well, I was looking for some new mods before I started tonight, but, uh, I wasn't, wasn't seeing anything that, uh, caught my eye, so, that's a shame, though, I'm still looking, though, you never know when something might just happen to come out, one thing that was out there was, uh, Jazzy Cat released, uh, a new, uh, version for the classic cars, for traffic, but I'm, I'm just... I like the classics, but I, I just didn't want them in here. I don't think I have any classic cars in here besides if CS might have a, have one or two, I think, maybe. But that is all that's in here. So, that's what we got there. Uh, other thing, if you guys missed it, or maybe you didn't miss it because you're not a big fan of it. Uh, big Pharma did not get released on Friday. I ended up having to push it Saturday. So, a little bit of a change there. We're actually going to be cutting that series. It's just not, not due to views, but due to I'm having performance issues for some reason with that game. It, it, it locks up on me. I wouldn't say it locks up, but it freezes for a hot second or two. And so it, it's really bothersome. So for that reason, I've decided to put that on hold until I can try and figure out what the performance issues are, why it's being caused. I'm going to uninstall it and reinstall it, see if that fixes it. And then, uh, if not, no, I don't know what we're going to do. It might not come back, which would be a shame, too, because I think it could be a very good series. So, we'll see. I'm, uh, hopefully, I'll get that working, though. So, that so we'll, we'll get into the schedule here for the week. Uh, Monday, we're going to have, obviously, American Truck Simulator, along with some more Farming Simulator tutorial. So that's good. I've been getting a bunch of mods to use for that game, so that's really cool. And so hopefully I'll be able to start checking those out and getting used to those and we can get something going. Then on Wednesday we'll have Emergency 4. And then Friday we will have Farming Sim. And I might go back and play some Emergency 2017 uh, free play. Uh, just to have something else there along with Farming Sim. We'll see. I don't know if I'll have time to uh, do that yet or not. Hopefully I will. It's really hard to say because I travel at the end of the week here. So that means I have to get everything for Monday recorded um, before I leave. So that means uh, next week's episode of American Truck Simulator will be uh, pre-recorded. So they're all pre-recorded, but it'll be pre-pre-recorded, I guess. So let's get cruising here. We're on US 101 doing about a 60 doing past this guy up here this is I mean, we're cruising through this corner definitely cruising through that corner holy cow you never whoa stay close we don't want to damage this truck too much so our last journey on it with it but we definitely need to slow down we're doing 65 that's not good we'll let her slow herself down before the popo come around wait for one of those cars we could just hit the brakes but it's don't want to put do wear and tear on them brakes 
I'm gonna have time for that. So, I'm gonna be getting off here. Getting on to the next road, anyhow. So, it's. Here's the funny part, right? So, I recorded this episode already once. I'm like halfway through the drive, and I get a phone call from work. I was like, oh man. I was like, oh, I think it'll be a quick one, right? And, uh,. Turns out it was. I was like, well, I mean, it was 15 minutes, which is, is long for some of the phone calls that we have. But, uh, it definitely kind of screwed things up. So, anyhow, recording. I just continue recording. I'm thinking everything's working. Those of you that don't know, I use OBS Studio for recordings. And, uh, so, what, you know, I had to just, I just left it running, you know, recording as I paused the game and went had my conversation then I come back and I'm like all right let's uh go let's drive and I'm thinking everything's fine right well I go to start editing the video and after I had paused it and came back uh I had no in-game audio being recorded so whoops so then the thing was okay do I uh sit there and just do it but and I was like, no, I can't do that. Like, that's not proper. So, I decided to spend another evening recording. But, not the end of the world, though. Not the end of the world. It's relaxing, that's for sure. That's why I, like, I want to get into the flight simulator. And I think I'm really going to with X-Plane 11. I think that's going to be my, my starting point. I know a lot of people use P3D. That one, I, I think that one's really expensive, right? If I remember correctly. That's super expensive to use. And then I think I mean, it's either really expensive or you could get like a, like a teaching license or something, I think, with it or something like that. But then you can't really use it for commercialization. So I don't want to do that. But I heard oh, the P3D is in version like 3, I think. There's kind of like some crazy issues with that like it's super advanced I said some ba something basic just something to get me going feeling good about it get into it and then we'll and then I'll go from there I need we'll see though big thing I still need a steering wheel though I like I could see myself getting me getting a uh, a joystick for a flight sim sooner than I would get a steering wheel just because something like this steering wheel is that I want like 300 bucks. I mean, I wouldn't spend that much on a, on a choice on a joystick for flight. I'd probably get like a little, like probably basic one. Let's be honest, it's going to be a basic one. But one that has like a throttle and, you know, that's really all I want. The throttle. Somewhat, somewhat realism, right? I mean... Joystick though is really realistic. All, you know, all these new planes just have joysticks on them. They don't even have the yoke anymore, so it would be kind of realistic there. But yeah, just you, like I said, steering wheel 300 easy for a good one, the one that I would want anyhow. So just we just take it as it comes, and uh, let's go. Let's just, uh, let's follow this guy all the way around. Don't see nothing wrong with that. You know, just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. That's the big thing here. Just enjoying the ride. The other thing, too, like, on why I couldn't release the sort of without in-game audio is because you guys can't then hear all the cars passing by or the, the sounds of the engine. I like, I like you guys hearing that stuff. I know sometimes it's probably a little bit quiet, I have a little bit of a tough time, especially over me talking, but when I'm quiet, I at least hope you guys can hear something that's really neat, you know. Like, that is just awesome. Awesome sound there. So. What else? No new games, nothing new else, right? Oh, whoa. I see you, buddy, in my mirror. I see ya. Want to get to both Santa Cruz? We could get off and go to Santa Cruz again if we wanted. It'd probably just redirect us back on the highway there. You know, I guess be the quickest route. 
Maybe not though. We could, might bring it to the coast, to the uh, coastline. We came last time. But we also weren't in Los Angeles last time either. That was another difference. We were in Oxnard last time. When we went up to Santa Cruz with that, uh, what were we? Petroleum products. That's what we uh, took last time. This time, it's uh, to electronic parts. The dark. Hey, maybe my, uh, probably got that joystick back there and, uh, a steering wheel. Might as well just, uh, take something out of the, out of the back. No need to go to the, uh, store then. Yeah. I don't know if this is probably, I mean, it's a nice, it's a decent trailer for this truck for an ending episode, you know. Nothing super crazy. I need to find, like, a super cool trailer, though, for the, for the next truck. Like, some of that you guys go like, holy cow, this is awesome. I think that would be really neat. Come on, baby, up this hill. That hill. Ooh, getting a little all over the place. I like this, like, view like this. I think it's a really neat view. And I can control it pretty decently, so I can't complain too much. So we get up, up on this guy here a little bit. So it, I just like how like everything just works. You know, we can see out off, we hit the brakes, the brake lights for no directional, all the lights were even on the trail. Like it's just it's really good simulation right there. And the fact that this trailer's a mod too, you know, that goes out then to the modder. I don't know you how hard that is to incorporate lights, I'd imagine it's pretty simple. I'm sure they made it pretty easy. But still the fact that they do it. It's uh, the game changer. There was another game out. Uh, it came out last year. It was like I don't know what it was. It was something with city. You do stuff in the city, and it, it was really buggy. Lots of a performance issues when it first came out. Then they fixed up some of it, but the gameplay wasn't there. And I forget what it was. What the game was called. I have to look back in my archive because I was gonna do a let's play series on it, but then I was like, holy cow, this game sucks. It didn't suck. Ooh, we can bypass the way station. That's a first. Bypassing the way station. We gotta pass this guy. That's what we need to do. There we go. Let's see if we can do about 60 here without a ticket. Could be pushing the lines. Oh, Kraft Hines. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Oh, look at the two trailers, like the lights in that mirror. That's so cool. Oh, there's the popo. Sorry. I was looking at the cop. It's never good. Half a tank, though, I feel. I'm surprised. I didn't fuel up before this journey, so we were just sitting on the fuel that we had left. So we got really good fuel efficiency. Whoop, whoop. That's what's up. Oh man, I do think I have the one eco driving though. I think I do have a point on the on the eco driving, so that might be helping a little bit. But I don't know. You know what? It, does it make a difference to drive manual in this game versus automatic for fuel efficiency? That's what I'd like to know. Or is it about the same? And it doesn't really make a difference. That would be interesting to know. You know, like, some people can drive very conservative in their car and get a great amount of miles out versus... So would that be the same then? I guess you could drive automatic too here, but... And, and get that same... Same result. I was trying to see what those two um, yellow or two lights were, but they're road signs. From the distance, I don't know what they really looked like. UFOs, maybe. I do like this, though. Sunroof up above. Oh! Oh, we got a crash. I'm so sorry. How much damage did it do to our trailer? Nothing. That's good. Let's take a look up there again. Hello. That's like just... That's really weird. Oof. 
guys gotta adjust to that. Probably should have slowed down for that instead of getting that crash offense. Feels so bad now. Last journey and we get a crash offense. This with this truck, last journey. So I would imagine we're about halfway there, be my guess. Not 100% sure though. Take a look at the map here. Yeah, 117 miles, that is definitely about halfway there. Because our total journey was 332, 33 miles, somewhere around there. So 165, 170 around that area there. Be about the halfway point, so we're at 115, so almost 75% of that journey, this journey. Uh, let's see, the new Star Wars for this year, and the name of it's been released, The Last Jedi. It's kind of a, well it's kind of hard to get around, like who's The Last Jedi? What are they talking about? Are there not going to be any more Jedis in the next one? All questions. Just saying. You just don't know. Uh, what else has happened since our last uh, TV show? Yeah, America's got a new president. Yeah, that is a thing. Uh, it's getting colder outside again for some reason after it was warming up for a bit. Which really sucks, I don't understand that. My car needs to be washed. Every time I have like, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wash it, I'm gonna wash it, and I'm just like, no. No. Just not in the mood. Oh. Got this guy with his logs here. Hello. I don't know if we can get over. Oh, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no again. Oh, he's gonna let us over. Okay, thank you. Uh, wrong button. That engine on. Thank you. I always do that. I set the dang wrong button. And then we gotta do a, a hot start on the fly. Which is good, right? So, like, trucks need that sometimes. They need a... What was that called? Rolling start or a pull start? I forget what they call it. But sometimes they need that. So we just did that too. Get up this hill, baby. Come on. Got this nice little S curve coming around here. I can see why they got the slow lane going up this S curve. is kind of crazy. What's up, FedEx man? There's the popo. <laughs> Better make sure to stand under the limit. Have you guys ever noticed something though with all these simulation games? You, like, you, you see it a lot in the city games like Sim City, City Skylines. All the traffic always goes to the right lane and it never really fluctuates between the three or the two. Same thing here. All the traffic sticks to the two right lanes or the far right lane and they only use the left lane for passing or not at all. Ugh, oh, just why is that? Oh, that popo's up there and we're doing 75. We better slow down. Slow down. We don't need a ticket. Definitely don't need a ticket. I'm surprised we're not gaining on him even more yet. He's just like right there. We're doing 65. It's 55. It's not good. We're almost down there though, almost down to 60. That's like the sweet spot. You can do about 60 and not get a ticket. 61, 62, maybe. Duh, it just all depends. But I'd imagine our drop off is coming up not too, not too far here, Los Angeles. Yeah, I would imagine I remember right, I think we have to get off on our right. I don't think there's like a whoop de whoop or anything here. I could definitely be wrong. I'm really surprised we don't see it in our mirror, or in the uh, in our mirror. The GPS, the drop off point. Because I'd imagine we're within 30 miles here. Let's uh, take a little look. Oh, 30 miles, 31 miles we're at. So we're getting there. 
but this kind of goes to show you I don't, it's kind of a weird though like the speed limit's 55 and it's only 338 miles so it takes a little bit longer because of the rescale but if we could do 70 you know this would be like a 20 minute episode versus by the time we get into Los Angeles get this trailer dropped it'll probably be about 25 to 30 minute episode we need to get over getting over nice no you sweet I know it's slow down a bit yeah we're not doing too bad I mean we're doing pretty good here besides that one accident I'm like a driving pro or a trucking pro Probably not a pro though. I've seen people drive a lot better in this game than me. But I but they also have steering wheels, so makes a difference. At least I think it does. I mean that'll be a whole new ball game too though, or not a drive with a steering wheel. Like you get so used to driving with whatever device, whether it's a mouse and keyboard or I don't know, do we gotta get off here? I think so. Uh, or a joystick, or well, I don't know if you can use a joystick, but a controller, or you got the steering wheel. And we gotta watch this corner here. We don't wanna clip our trailer. And uh, voila, we're in Los Angeles. City limit of Los Angeles. Oh, that guy's turning from that lane. What? That's crazy. We should have gunned it more. We might have gotten to this intersection. Not 100% sure if we would have, but I think we would have. And, uh... What else? I think... Ooh, hey. Oh. Go, go, go. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you. I think we need to go right, so we'll... Oh. And we gotta get over, so let's get over then. This one lane road. Isn't there uh, a zoo in Los Angeles? I thought of Los Angeles had the zoo. Could be wrong though. Do have a 30 limit? I like the bus. The bus. What if we just started driving a bus? What would you guys think of that? We just got one of them bus mods and drove that. That'd be kind of. Eh. Think we're getting through this light? Oh yeah, speeding. Ah, oh, he's right there. Jesus, speeding ticket and a crash offense all in one episode. Ay ay ay! Right at the finish line on top of it. Oh man. Oh yep, perk up. Someone's coming. What's up? Oh yeah. Oh, it's just me. Yeah. Thanks. It's just me. Um. Where are we going with it? Oh, over there, eh? Over there. Let's see if we can go in and not clip that sign, but I think we're going to. Yeah, we got it. We clipped it. So sorry, Joe. Uh, whatever your name is. I didn't catch it there at the beginning. That, that really sucked that we uh, got a parker over here. Oh, well, what else, what else are you going to do? You just don't want to hit that uh, side of that building there. Let's just make it all look good. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt. It's going to be a pain in the butt. We'll uh, bring her out this way here get a little bit of an angle on her yeah, like that so that's what we need nice angle on her and we can just back her in Hopefully we'll be able to do this in one turn we should be able to I mean it's a fairly simple back in if I can't do it in one then I might have to quit my day job Oh yeah, she's looking good boys and girls, 
Looking good. Oh, baby. He's looking on fire. Oh, that is fire right there, baby. That is it. Look at that parking brake so we don't go nowhere. Look at that. Oh, man, that is... Well, mm, I don't... That's really good, though, guys. I mean, it's not perfect, but that is really good. So that's going to do it for us, guys, on another episode of Trucking with the Eye Let's turn on them hazards there for you. Because this is the last time you'll see the Kenworth W900 in our good old paint here. We'll be getting a new truck for next episode, so make sure you come back next week. Another great episode of Trucking with Eye Vision.